Hey everyone, I'm Marcus and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I'll keep it real with you guys today. I am really tired. I'm exhausted for some reason, uh, but I still want to get a video out today. So I'm going to be bringing you guys a moveset guide on Kingler in VGC 2020, but it's not just going to be any Kingler, it's going to be Gigantamax Kingler, which is now legal as of Series 3, as of March 1st, we can use it. And yeah, it's actually a really interesting Pokemon. And it has a new move called G-Max Foam Burst, which is a variation of G-Max Geyser. And what it does is it actually cuts your opponent's speed, both of the opponents, by two stages, which essentially just cuts it in half. And that's actually really, really huge. Kingler is a very scary Pokemon when it has sheer force and it's faster than you. However, with only 75 base speed, it isn't the fastest Pokemon and it's also very frail on the special side. And with low HP, its physical defense is only okay. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, push leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content and let's get into it. It's probably gonna be a shorter one. I don't feel like recording that long today. I'll even like go below 10 minutes if I have to, but I, I'm a YouTuber. I might actually make it to the 10 minute mark, the blessed 10 minute mark that lets me put mid roll ads so YouTube will love me and the video will get shared to different people. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So. I have two sets for this guy. Uh, like with Lapras, there aren't very many ways to run it, and I think there are only two really viable sets. Um, I know, like, viable in general, like, the sets are very general. Uh, however, I know that you can make variations of these sets with different moves that could just be as viable as these are. However, these are the ones I decided to make. The first set is actually going to be using Hypercutter and an Assault Vest. Now, this is specifically meant to mitigate the issue of having such low special defense and being threatened by Electric types and Grass types and such, but uh, I actually really like this set. I think this is going to be one of the better ones. So Hypercutter will allow you to ignore getting your attack dropped by Intimidators like Incineroar and Hitmontop which means you'll be dealing out some pretty consistent damage because I guess I should have gone over this first. This guy has 55 HP, 130 attack, 115 defense, 50 special tech, 50 special defense, and 75 speed. 130 attack is really good. Like, I don't know if I need to clarify that for you guys, but 130 attack is very, very good. Um, yeah, and it's such a strong Pokemon, but uh, because you're not going to be dealing with Intimidates, that makes it so that uh, you'll be able to just throw off Liquidations as strong as you want, and it's also going to make it so you always one-shot Incineroar with a uh, Max Foam Burst coming off of Liquidation. The moveset for this guy is going to be Liquidation, Brick Break, High Horsepower, Knockoff, with the ability Hypercutter, the Assault Vest, and the EVs are 68 HP, 92 Attack with an Adamant Nature, 4 Defense, 252 Special Defense, and 90 92 speed. So the reason I'm running 92 speed is because this will actually allow uh, the Kingler to outspeed Dragapult after one foam burst or under a tailwind. And because you're outspeeding Dragapult, uh, that makes it so you're pretty much outspeeding everything else in the game, which is really, really nice for this Pokemon considering how powerful it is on the physical side. Uh, the special defense with the Assault Vest will allow you to take a modest max special attack Rotom Wash and every other Rotom variants, uh, Thunderbolt. Max Foam Burst will always one-shot Incineroar because you won't have to deal with getting intimidated. Uh, Max Darkness will actually one-shot Dragapult, and Knockoff will come close to one-shotting Dragapult, granted it doesn't have uh, that much bulk in it. Max Foam Burst also has an 81.3% chance to one-hit KO Max HP Tyranitar, and Max Knuckle coming out from this Pokemon will also one-shot Tyranitar 100% of the time, granted it only has 4 HP investment, which is actually pretty common on faster variants. But yeah, uh, Liquidation is just a generally great stab move. While this Pokemon could make a case for running Crab Hammer, I prefer Liquidation because one, it doesn't miss, and two, it has a chance to lower their defense. Brick Break is to bypass screens, which are going to be inevitable given how powerful Grim Snarl is and how uh, ever-present Lapras is at the current moment. High Horsepower is great because it's a nice uh, ground type move that will allow you to hit Steel types for super effective damage uh, and deal more damage than Brick Break would. On top of that, it will boost your special defense of you and your uh, partner Pokemon, so that's actually really, really nice for this Pokemon, granted how little special defense it has without investment. And Knock Off is just there to remove items like Weakness Policies, Berries, and turning to Max Darkness to uh, just lower their special defense. So yeah, uh, this Kingler set I think is probably my favorite out of the two. The next one is a much more offensive Kingler. Uh, I mean, this Kingler is stupidly offensive, but I focus a lot more on bulk for this Pokemon, but the next one is just pure offense. So, next up we have Life Orb Kingler, and it's going to be rocking 
Liquidation, Rock Slide, Knock Off, Protect with the ability Sheer Force, the item Life Orb, and its stat spread is going to be 28 HP, 188 attack, 4 defense, 84 special defense, and 204 speed with a Jolly Nature. So Liquidation actually gets boosted by Sheer Force when you're not Dynamaxed. Uh, Sheer Force unfortunately ignores uh, max moves, so you won't be bypassing the effects of uh, max darkness and max foam burst to get a boost in damage because that'd be disgustingly strong. I kind of wish it was like that, but you know, you, you take what you can get. So when you're not Dynamax, Liquidation is going to be a very powerful move. Rock Slide will not be able to flinch, but will be very strong as well. Knock Off will still actually remove items. It doesn't get boosted by uh, Sheer Force because removing items is the primary effect of the move and not a secondary effect. And Protect is just there because... I mean, we're not running an Assault Vest, it's kind of nice to be able to protect against Pokemon. You could also make a case to run X-Scissor over Rock Slide and Knock Off, because that would allow you to one-shot Grass types that you might have to deal with otherwise. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really, really fun set. Life Orb is ignored by Sheer Force, so you get the boost, but because it's considered a secondary effect uh, to take damage from the Life Orb, uh, if you're using a Sheer Force move, then you won't take any Life Orb damage, and that's actually really, really cool if you didn't know that. But yeah, this Kingler will outspeed Modest Max Speed Chandelure, which is actually really important because that's picking up in usage right now. Uh, they're mostly there to imprison, but they typically run Will-O-Wisp or Energy Ball, which will allow them to either burn this Kingler neutering its attack set or just have super effective damage versus it. And since we're not rocking an Assault Vest, we don't want to take very many special hits. And also, our... <laughs> Life Orb, Max, Life Orb Max Foam Burst will one-shot 252 HP, zero defense, Incineroar, uh, even at minus one, which is actually really important because we are not running Hyper Cutter. We will get intimidated on this Pokemon. Our Max Rockfall will two-shot a very defensive Togekiss, rocking the 236 HP, 196 defense Bolt Spread, and that's typically the Babiri Bear Togekiss. They have Yawn and stuff, so it's really nice to be able to two-shot that thing with a Max Rockfall. And we're also able to take a modest Max Special Attack Rotom Wash Thunderbolt with our 32 HP and 84 Special Defense investment. Uh, the most we're going to be taking from that is 96%, so it's a guaranteed two-hit KO. Uh, while we won't outspeed most Rotom, it is actually really nice to be able to know you can take one Thunderbolt from that Pokemon. But yeah, those are the only spreads I have for this. Uh, typically, I'd say that you want to pair this Pokemon with uh, some bulkier Pokemon that appreciate the steep that appreciate the speed drop on your opponents. You could also try to run it with a Tailwind Pokemon because uh, you're just going to be stupidly fast. But yeah, I'd say one of the best partners for this is probably going to be a Lightning Rod user. You might see a lot of Raichu, you might see a lot of Togemaru, possibly Pinchurch if you feel like thinking outside the box. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Be sure to check out all my links in the description. Uh, there are links to my Patreon for more content. There are links to my Twitch, where I'll be live streaming as soon as this video goes up. So if you guys are still watching, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Go ahead and hop into that. And there will also be links to the Discord where you can discuss Pokemon with me. And if you guys want to buy my stickers, because I sell stickers, there will be links to that as well. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.